Day 2 saw Sean Wilcock lead the field away for 120 kilometers of action. A strong and consistent pace ensured that he ran in the top two all day and he would eventually be rewarded with an overall victory back at the Tinga Dam Resort. I... Here is Sean visiting one of the controls along the route. Marshals amongst the ultimate heroes of the sport. Very good race, very tight, very technical, very good uh, navigation, and it was just a case of get your routes right, follow your navigation, follow your route notes, and uh, and then the second lap today was rapid, really, really, really quick. I had Anthony right behind me. Congratulations to him. I think we finished within a minute of each other, over three hours of racing. So that's pretty impressive. It was fast. It was good. Really good race. Absolutely flying on day two was Anthony Nielsen. He began the day four minutes behind Shane Short. By the end of the event, he pulled back to finish just over one and a half minutes down. Fields was another man on the mission, climbing up from fifth overnight to end the event in third position. Yet seen here hot on the heels of Shivam Vinaya. Another man on the mission. Shivam would move from 11th at the end of day 1 to finish 4th overall. Danilo Pucci was another to climb the leaderboard, ending the 180 km long event in 5th position, just 3 minutes away from a podium.
Vincent maintained his advantage in day two to take the win with a time that would have placed him sixth overall. Technical, but, but uh, really good. Uh, very nice organization as usual, but otherwise all went good. Yeah. Christian Kalez maintained his hold in second position and would end the event with a three minute drift of Ending the event third overall. Zane Young improved on his day one position, and after overhauling reigning champion Shazar Anwar, Zane consolidated his fourth position at the end. Anwar was a puzzled man at the finish. The rock had cost him valuable time and he would have to test for fifth. The buggy category provided all sorts of excitement. Ian Duncan rejoined after his role on day one, which would end the event on a solo route to the day before. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
day one leader, Andrew Pleasant, would have a more dramatic end to his event when he hits a tree at high speed, ripping a wheel off his buggy. flat bit with a few bumps and it went in and did the same as the end but instead of rolling it I hit a tree and ripped the whole front left right arm. Through all of this drama came the youngest competitor from the event. Ted Harani was on a steep learning curve and loved it as he powered his magic bug to victory in the class. Yes, Hirani, I'm 13 and I drive the Majibug. Um, I just won the Dam cross country and it was an awesome two days, rough, bumpy, dusty, fun. In the car category, there were dramas of Benti. Jus Zerbier, the overnight leader, was unlucky to break the steering whilst in a commanding position, forcing him out of the event. Martin Kabuba came home in fifth position after a solid weekend in the Land Rover. Fourth position went to Rajesh Maini who is hampered by still being stuck in low range for the whole of the second day. The points collected, however, moved him into second position in the championship. Third position went to Eddie Belcher in the Tomcat, displaying a fine turn of reliability.
second overall and the top lady home, Sue Jow, this being her best ever performance in the eight months since she began racing the Tomcat. Winning the car class and moving to the top of the championship leaderboard was Nush Lakhani at the wheel of his V8 Land Rover. We started off uh, all right. I mean, we, we made a couple of wrong spots, as you know. I've got a new navigator, uh, and that was bound to happen. And then we came home third last night. And um, unfortunately, I think we were aided by the fact that Simon retired because he was well ahead uh, in front of us. And then it was an open race between the three of us, uh, which turned in my favourite today. Well, that's all the action from the Singer Dam, round three of the 2012 Rally Raid Championship. See you at the next one. Bye. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, right.